Good morning, everybody. We're going to start water changes today. Let's go down and see what everything looks like. Hopefully I don't spill my drink. Always got to check for spiders. All right, we're good. Hello, everybody. How's my little ones today? This lady's always up at the glass. I wonder if it's the one that I moved over. Looks like the heater decided to let go here. Hello, August babies. And the July babies. And the May babies. Hopefully, I'm going to set this down so I don't drop it. Or drop my phone in the tank somewhere. Let's see if we can see these little ones from the top yet. Yeah, kind of. It's hard to see them through the glass now because the water level is so low. There they are, right in the back. These ones are getting pretty big. You can see them from the top. These guys are all still scared of me. Let's see how our sick guy's doing. No, you guys can't see from there. Let's turn the light on, see if he freaks out. He's been in here for about a week now. There he is. How's it going, little one? Looks like his back and sides are still a little, still, uh, let's call them rough. He's not like spinning in circles though, so hopefully that helped out. Looks like he's swimming normal. <clears throat> we shall see. We shall see. I'll give him like a 50% water change today. And then leave him sit for another week. Click. Their tank still empty. I'll scrape that all down today. And these babies. I don't think we're going to be able to see them at all. Yep, there they are. Looking pretty good. And these guys are going up to their 10 gallon today. They still have plenty of water in their bowls. It's just the water level from here dropped. These guys are going to be going up to that far tank today. So we'll have CPDs in all four of those tanks and I'll redo these tanks and start them back up next month, starting with this guy. <clears throat> My most active tank. As you can see, I did not move the red shrimp from last video. I had forgotten about it. They're always so friendly and hungry. These guys are still eating their green beans from yesterday. Oh, I see a cull. Two culls. It's crazy how much faster they eat than the reds. And the filter's still off. I just turned it up a little bit. Sneak up to these guys. Good morning, everybody. Miss CPD has become one of the minnows. Oh, she fell behind. Hello. Can I boop you? Boop. Lots of snails. Sneak is in the morning. All the shrimp come up to the leaves. I'm assuming they just do that for warmth for the, from the light. But then as soon as I feed, they'll all drop back down. These guys are already grazing, waiting for breakfast. There's a hole over here now that they dug a while back underneath. I don't know, the shark kind of filled it up. But there was a big, deeper hole, like right underneath. Where's my finger? There it is. Like under here, it was all dug out and there was a bunch of shrimp in there. 
But when the shark has his little fits, he runs and kicks up all the gravel and everything else. Must have filled it in. Ooh, we got a baby. Just a little one. I did actually end up swapping one of the uh, blue valves, the other one with this one, for this guy because the like the little pin that's at the very bottom of these that actually goes in to block the airway broke off inside. So hopefully it'll last. We'll see. Snailtopia. All the plants are still doing pretty cool. These ones are actually starting to get their outside leaves, it looks like. LRB style with uh, no air, no filters, just light and a ton of plants. It is doing quite well. Sorry for all the glare and everything. I've got the uh, ceiling lights on so I can see. Well, you guys saw that in the beginning. We'll be cleaning all the glass today, water changing all the tanks today, except for this one. This one just gets topped off with CPD water. As you can see, it's still quite cloudy. But you can kind of see the moss in there. It's doing pretty good. It's almost taken over the rocks again. But I'm hoping one of these days it'll just clear up once the moss gets like probably double that size. It'll start taking up the nutrients so the algae won't anymore. The end leaves. Actually, if you sorry, it's looking... A little bit clearer again. It must have went through its process. Yeah, you can't see it without a light. But all these guys are doing good. It looks kind of dim in there, so I'm going to clean the actual glass up top underneath the light today. It's probably covered in algae. I was going to show you guys, but it's got a bunch of crap on it. I did see two shrimp in here the other day, so I missed a couple. There's one back there, you know, in the plants. Why can't I find it with the camera? There it is. Right there. And there was an orange one somewhere, too. But you can see the snails love the green beans. Actually, I didn't even see any in there. I gave these guys, like, five. Yeah, they're completely gone. The cucumber's gone too, except for whatever that like white veil layer is. The oranges, I think, finally... Nope, theirs is still there too. Weird. The reds are actually... Their cucumber's finally gone. Oh, oh there it is. It's back on the filter. All right. I've rambled on long enough. I'm going to get started putting things back together. looks like I'll turn that light on again one more time. Sorry, sick boy. Actually, he didn't freak out at all that time. I think he might be getting better. But this filter fell off. Um, this filter fell off. It looks like the heater fell off, too. And that one's good can see which tanks had methylene blue in them. It turns the coral blue, well, some of it. And his. But I'll be doing that stuff, putting everything back together, re-sticking everything to the walls, and I'll be dropping this down halfway, just to the very top of the uh, outlet back there. And we'd be putting in those babies, these ones, from September, right? Yeah, September. Quite a few of them in there. They've been doing really well. Okay, get out.